Hi, it's Josie and I'm here today to show you one thing that you need to teach your horse to get him to do anything for you. And by the end of this video, I'm going to give you three exercises to put this into place that will help you have a horse that is a lot more responsive and a lot more uh, respectful when you're handling him. After starting nearly 200 horses under saddle, I can tell you that this is the one thing that I start every horse with, be it a young foal, or an old horse or a problem horse coming here. And it's something I use if I get horses coming for re-education, just to check to see where I should start and are they responsive. So if you like my advice, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get notified every Friday when I post a new video. Let's get on with it. So the first thing I teach a horse is how to give to pressure. Now stay with me here, no eye rolling there. It really is the one thing that you need and you can get your horse to do absolutely anything for you if he understands that. Uh, horses in the very beginning will often push into pressure, not um, move away from pressure. That is just nature. And in the very beginning of working with a horse that I'm starting under saddle in the round yard, the pressure is just my body pressure on the horse in the round yard. But that moves on to being rope pressure as the training progresses, and that's where I want to start this with today. So you need to get yourself a good rope halter. Webbing halters will not cut it here, I'm sorry. It's like trying to knit with crowbars, okay? The horse learns, and this is the other thing, I'll repeat this through it, the horse actually learns from the release of the pressure. It's not what you put it on that you're putting it on, it's when you release it that your horse learns, okay? So webbing halters, um, just they don't have the um, finesse that a rope halter does. So if you'd like to have a look up here, I'll link you with my um, rope halter demo so you can get in and make sure that that's okay. I want this horse to give to pressure. The first thing I'm going to teach him, sorry, is spider, is to um, drop his head. So the horse has a very softish spot up here on the pole, okay? And that's where the pressure of the, um, the top of the halter here is going to go. And all you need to do with your horse is get, some, uh, get, get your rope and just put some downward pressure and he should follow the feel of the pressure. I'm sorry, he wants to play with my hand. Spider, we're filming. Spider, you are not the best model for this because you keep playing with my hand. So downward, <laughs> stop, Kabibi. So downward pressure, and he would he would just drop his head. My horses have all been trained to do this. Okay, so I want you to think about being like a fence post. Um, I was talking to a girl I was uh, teaching today. If you if I tied this rope onto a fence post and Spider pulled back on it, the second he let go. The rope is given. The pressure is given. If he put, a, if I tied him onto a fence post that could pull, he was pulling, and the fence was pulling. When he gives the, see, the rope isn't given. When he, if if it's a fence post, the rope is given. So they talk about timing and feel, and that's all good. But if you can just remember not to pull, but to be a fence post, you won't have to worry about timing and feel. The horses have it. If you have a difficult horse, if your horse is pulling back against the pressure when you're trying to put downward pressure, just try and hold. I lock my elbow into myself and set my core and just hold until the horse gives, okay? Even if he lifts you up, try and keep the pressure on till the split second he gives. Some horses that um, are stubborn, not so much pulling back, but they just won't give, you actually can rock your hand a bit and the horse will give as you use a bit of rhythm to rock it. So that's just, you can use that to actually get your horse's head down here when I'm plaiting spider's mane, if I want to trim his ears up a bit, if I want to put my bridle on or my halter on, okay? So that is one way that you can use the horse to give to pressure. Uh, another way is to get him to walk backwards. So I'm just going to put my hand on here and he he's actually pretty good at going backwards yeah there's hardly there is a slight feel on that but you can see that there's hardly any spider is a sensitive soul anyway so he's one of those horses that uh, i have to be a little bit gentle with you can also use pressure as i said in the round yard on a young horse for me i teach them with myself in the round yard i can just use my pressure of my body 
And because he stepped back, I stopped and released the pressure. Okay, so it's the release of the pressure that lets the horse learn he's done the right thing. So I'll just use this, and if he doesn't get out of my way, I will increase the pressure, and the minute he's out of the way, I relax. And I will just ask him to go back, and because he did, I release the pressure. I hope you can actually see that in the video. One other way that you can use this is to teach your horse to follow the feel of the rope, okay? Or to give to pressure, in the because you'll see in a minute, I'll take the rope and be pulling forward. He needs to follow it. This is a way I can teach young horses to lunge when you don't have a round yard, actually. So if I take this rope and take the feel of it this way, he needs to follow the feel. I'm going to go out of view here for a minute, but that's okay. So I want him to give to pressure. So the pressure's coming forward and he's just giving and staying in front of it. And this is absolutely how you can start your horse under saddle. So my horses are all trained in this, so it's quite difficult to show you one that doesn't want to do it, but see just tiny bit of pressure and, my, and he drops his head. But I'll just show, go through the same works because there are some things going back with Rebel. See there already I've got pressure on, he hasn't given at all. He is just leaning on that. So I hold the pressure there because he has to go back. If I want to teach him, I might use a bit of that and then release. So that was just a bit of a thumb into the chest. He needs to, yeah, that's better. He just needs a gentle reminder sometimes. He's like that naughty little kid that just goes, I don't want to do it. But now, yeah, so there's just pressure, release, pressure, release pressure release and I watch their feet I don't watch the horse okay I don't care what he's doing with his head I want him to move his feet because this is going backwards so we'll try again pressure release okay so I didn't release that until he picked up this right front and left hind pressure release pressure release okay so it's all remember the release is what teaches the horse he's not as he couldn't care about my body language. So, and I just did a naughty thing then, but that's okay. I stepped back after he didn't move. So I, because I want my rope, because I'm going to ask him to go back. Because I would like him to go back from a bit of body pressure. Good boy. That feels to me personally too much pressure. Like I want him to be softer than that. Following the feel of the rope, he should, I was going to say, he should be quite good because I do lunge him. So he's just following a light feel there. Oop. There you go. Two different horses. Okay, I will pop under this video a link to a short guide I've written with three principles that I keep in mind whenever I'm training a horse. Thank you. And it doesn't matter if it's a young horse, old horse, um, well-trained or a beginner horse. They are very good basic principles and I would love to share it with you. It's free. Uh, just click on the link, download it, and I'd love for you to let me know in the comments what you think of what we've done today. Don't forget, if you like my video, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified on every Friday when I put out a new video. See you next week.